Well, along with Election Day, Veterans Day is also right around the corner. That's right, November 11th, here to tell us all about some fun activities happening down here in South Shore. It is Carol Olivas from the American Legion Auxiliary. How are you tonight? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me come in because we want to spread the word. Our Veterans Day, 11-11 at 11 a.m. will be at the American Legion Post, 2748 Lake Tahoe Boulevard. We're right across from Meeks Lumber. Mm -hmm. And we've been there for almost 70 years. Has it been almost 70 years? Our, we're one of the <laughs> oldest buildings in the city of South Lake oh. Tahoe, way before incorporation came along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that property was donated to the American Legion for the post to be built there. Uh, and we were completed in the late in the late 40s. The, our auxiliary was formed in 1950. So wow. we're the auxiliary, we're 68 years old this year. Huh? So, doing but, great things. Yeah. I mean, I know the American Legion, you know, involved in so many different things. You know, the toy drive and yeah. all kinds of things. Well, uh, we reach out, and of course, we reach out for our veterans. We need, we have a lot of veterans around the lake. Yeah. Uh, at last count, we had over 4,000 retired veterans just on the west and east side of the shore. And those are the ones wow. we know about. We know we have a lot more veterans than that. 4,000. But uh, November the 11th, it comes on a Sunday. Uh -huh. So we know we'll be competing with people that go to church, but hopefully after church they'll come and visit us at the Legion. But that property was donated by the Johnson family, the Knox Johnson, Springmar family, Johnson Boulevard named after right, them. Right. And so they were such a patriotic family. And their legacy goes on even today. But we're, we've been there, like I said, for almost 70 years now. And um, our, it was known, Veterans Day was known as Armistice Day. It was the end of 1918, World War I, and it was uh, Woodrow Wilson, President Woodrow Wilson, mm -hmm. called it Armistice Day, and it stayed Armistice Day for 36 years. And in 1954, President Eisenhower uh, dec uh, declared it as Veterans Day, and it's to honor all veterans of all wars. As we should do, not just on Veterans That's Day, right. but every chance we get. So yeah. what happens at 11, on 11-11 11, 11 at 11? Well, that's when the last shot was fired, apparently, in 1918, mm -hmm. and um, peace was declared at that time with uh, Germany and France. Yes. And uh, we lost 116,000 Wow. We were called Doughboys, World War I, American soldiers, and over 2,000 that were actually unidentified. But they were buried in France, and France maintains a cemetery. It's our American cemeteries, and a lot of our veterans that travel to Europe, they go to see those uh, our American boys that are buried over there. So is this uh, over with, with at the American Legion? Is it at a moment of silence? Is it a general gathering? Uh, it, it, it is. Reception? It's a mem uh, form of memorial cool. where we talk about it and want to remind people that, you know, he, your freedom is not free. You hear that said a lot, but um, we have the evidence that freedom is not Isn't free. Isn't that the truth? Uh-huh. And that's what they say, uh, being a good patriot, patriotism, um, you know, and our reward is our freedom. 100%. Thank you so much for coming in this so, evening. Good to see you. Well, thank I you for having it. me. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. See Carol out there at the American Legion Auxiliary, 11-11 at 11. In honor of Veterans Day. We'll be right okay. back.